Meghan Markle just revealed huge detail about her due date. Duchess speaks on royal baby. The Duchess of Sussex cradled her blossoming baby bump as she stepped out with Harry in Merseyside. Meghan wore a stylish purple dress designed by Aritzia, teamed with a long red coat by Santeller, matching stilettos and a small brown handbag. And during the walkabout, Meghan shocked crowds by letting slip she is expecting her royal baby at the end of April or beginning of May. Kensington Palace had only previously said the couple were expecting their baby in the spring. Moments later, bookmakers revealed Meghan is 12 one to give birth on April 19, the Queen's birthday. Meghan added that they did not know if they were having a boy or a girl as she chatted to well-wishers. The Duke and Duchess started the day by visiting a sculpture which was erected in November to mark the 100th anniversary of war poet Wilfred Owen's death. And the couple met local veterans and members of the Birkenhead Institute Old Boys. Meghan and Harry were presented with a giant teddy bear as they greeted well-wishers in Hamilton Square. Royal fans were pleased to see the pair out together again following their last joint public appearance in Sandringham on Christmas Day. And Harry gave four-year-old Eliza Morris a hug after seeing her sign which read, Gingers Unite, I Love You Harry. The couple's next stop was number 7, a community supermarket and cafe, where they officially opened the premises. Meghan bonded with fellow expectant mother Angel Midgley, giving her a large basket of baby goods. Harry could be heard joking, is there a baby in there? Harry and Meghan's third engagement was a visit to Tomorrow's Women Wirral, an organization that supports women in vulnerable circumstances. Their final visit of the day was to the Hive Wirral Youth Zone, a purpose-built facility for young people in the area. It is the start of a very busy week for Harry and Meghan, who is showing no signs of slowing down despite her pregnancy. On Wednesday, Meghan is said to visit animal charity Mayhew, one of her new royal patronages which were announced last week. In addition to Mayhew, the U.S.-born former actress will become patron of the National Theatre, the Association of Commonwealth Universities and women's charity Smart Works, which Meghan has already visited. The charities, which work to promote the arts, access to education, support for women and animal welfare were chosen to reflect causes Meghan has previously been associated with. The 37-year-old will also complete engagements at the National Theatre and the Association of Commonwealth Universities in the coming weeks. On Wednesday night, Meghan and Harry will attend the premiere of Cirque du Soleil's Totem at the Royal Albert Hall. The event will be in aid of Harry's charity Santa Ball, which works to help children affected by HIV in Lesotho and Botswana.